Ah, uh, hey, yo, look, this A Pressure, I don't care what you think, podcast, man. This, these motherfuckers. This was a fun podcast. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all niggas, what's Appreciate you, bro. Yo, welcome to another episode of the I Don't Care What You Think podcast. Well, we don't care what you think. We got a special guest in the building with us today. Y'all know the vibes. The one and only A Pressure. Gonna clap it up for you. Yeah, oh, Patterson man. in the building. Y'all know what's going on. In the, in the, in the, nah, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. It ain't, it, the intro ain't over yet. Fat isn't in the For building, man. For those who may not know South. who this is sitting next to us. King Slizzy. You know him. King Slizzy 2 is out now. You feel what I'm saying? I know what's going you on. You feel me? Somebody very important. Yeah. You feel me? You feel me? Guys, no. Of the King Slizzy 2 tape. Uh-huh. Like and too deep. I mean, drop him on to my boy. Let's get it. He in the uh, building. I'm in too deep with all this beef. We ain't gonna talk about it. Let's go. Whatever it's action, we gonna meet. There ain't no walking around. What else? Mary runners on my feet. This shit, I walk with Mary. I do a check. Uh huh. Name is Blue a couple. Thousand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, blue a couple thousand. Thousand. Feel me long time. I'm on money, I've been running, I ain't got time to what uh-huh. No expiration on that get back, I got time to that uh-huh. BB's busting like a perk and I'm on monitor yeah, uh-huh. 200 bundles before 10, they was on monitor uh-huh. 16 O's up in this P and I'm gonna move them on I'm moving it Sean Lynch with an onion, just give me the ball uh-huh. Yeah, it's static with that nigga, please don't get involved Don't do it You ride the fence, I shoot the gate, now that's the problem, so uh-huh. Niggas kept about these murders, they ain't dropping none they talk about? Niggas witness to the shooters, you can stop the buck uh-huh. Hey, I throw hands cause I'm a Man, but shit, they know I up. Okay. Uh-huh. After she mop it, I'm gonna block her. I don't do no cuffing. Keep going. Got the cost of shit. This charm right here, like 60 something. Uh-huh. I'm pop my shit for I forget though. Let me think the other. Okay. Uh-huh. Pounds of shake this easy. Make these cookies come and dust. Pick it up. Don't hit my line. I hit the client. If you ain't copping nothing, don't pick up. Uh-huh. Hey, you ain't copping nothing. Nah. Don't hit my soul with all that broke shit. Why ain't chopping nothing? Okay. Uh-huh. I walk this on. Uh-huh. Hey, you ain't coppin' nothing. Hey, walk it. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. With the Mary Run. With all this beef, we ain't gon' talk to nah. him. Nah. But if it's action, we gon' meet. There ain't no walkin' around. Okay. Nah. The Mary Run is on my feet. This shit, I walk him. Nah. I do a tantrum all in me. Let's do a couple. I blew that shit. I'm too deep with all this beef. We ain't gon' talk to him. We ain't gon' talk to him. But if it's action, we gon' meet. There ain't no walkin' around. We gon' meet up. The Mary Run is on my feet. This shit, I walk him down. Let's go. I do a tantrum all in me. Let's do a couple. Give me all that shit on the rack. That shit up there. Give me that shit right there. Give me that Gucci shirt. Give me all that shit. I need all that. It's all a couple thousand. They ain't nothing. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? We in the building, man. Hey, I need bottles in my section soon as I hit the door. Uh-huh. All that. Keep them sparkles. I get money. I've been here before. Uh-huh. Hey, we just chilling. Fuck them niggas. I came for the hood. That's what he said. He's worse than these bitches telling shit they saw. Fat. With shimmy sneaker, bigger speaker, sneaky linker. Bitch, don't even uh-huh. overthink it. I ain't thinking, thinking what, what you think. Okay. Look, you thinking banking, Mr. Franklin? Get acquainted. I'm a okay. different type of plug. I show you love. Oh. Woo! <laughs> But I'm gonna make sure that we eat for real. Gonna make sure we eat. Hey, I got it, nigga. Keep your shit. All that slick talk gonna get you killed. I'm in too deep with all this beef. We ain't gonna talk about it. If it's about action, we gonna meet. It ain't no walking yeah, around it. The Mary Runners you ain't no cop, J. Reed. In too deep. You ain't no cop, J. Reed. You was a sellout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, too deep. It's crazy how you caught that. Niggas ain't even catch that. <laughs> Yo, so, that name came, bro. What, what was the what, what, what was the mind frame for that? Like, what was you at? When, 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 what was your space when that shit was just popped up? Into right now or when I broke? When you shit? when you made it? When you made it? I, I see you was in that shit yeah, right now. I, I up and I just smoked. Before I before I tell a story though, y'all worked this shit. You see how he finished it? Like y'all twins. <laughs> <laughs> That's Brody, man. That's bro. Mind you though, this, this the crazy part. Rehearsed. That shit not rehearsed. No, nah, nah, it's never no. rehearsed. Every guest act like that. It's never he don't know what rehearsed, song I'm playing. Never rehearsed. This shit genuine. Bro, I'm late. I'm late to every episode, so it can't yeah. be rehearsed. Yeah, it I'm can't late be rehearsed. He always late. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because when he came, he like I can smoke in there. I'm like, nah. He like, I'm gonna smoke in the car. I said, man, my guest gonna be. I mean, I said my co-host gonna be late anyway. You good, bro? Yeah, we're up. <laughs> All right, oh, uh, where the fuck was that? What was your mind state when you when you when you made that? And too deep was I. I had a. Uh, Situation with another rapper, and I'm like, man, that's a pussy nigga. But I'm like, I'm I'm on the road. You feel me? I'm taking trips. I just came back from a trip and shit. 
So I'm like, man, I'm on the road. Man, I don't even got time for no fake beef. You feel me? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't even in Jersey. Right. I'm outside. You know what right. I mean? I just got back. So that's, I'm like, man, I'm on money. I've been running. I ain't got time to waste. Yeah. So like, it's like, I'm back right now. I might be back for three days. Right. Then I'm flying back out. So I'm like, my life, like, nigga, I don't got time to waste. So we can't beat around the bush. You feel yeah. me? Like, mm-hmm. If we got to get to it, if it's a situation, let's get to it. I'm here. Like, I ain't, you feel what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I respect that's that. That's it. Shit, before we go any further, I always got to ask all my guests this. How you feeling, bro? Like, how life treating you? Like, how, how shit been going for you? Yo, I feel blessed, like. Word. That's only, I feel like, like I'm anticipating something. I don't know what's coming next. Word. You feel I what I'm saying? that shit. And that shit been like a long time coming, because, you know, you grind with the music shit. Not even like the street shit. Like, you grind with the music shit. Yeah. And you know what you put in it. Mm-hmm. And, and if you believe it, yeah, back. like I don't do the shit like oh, I want to get money. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Of course yeah. I want money. Of course. But I do the shit like with a passion. Like I've been doing this since I was a kid. This was like my sport. Like right. you know, I know niggas. Some niggas can play basketball. Play mm-hmm. I this like me with rap. Like since right. I've been a I kid, it's like I feel you. When you feel me? Like ten. Yeah. I'm going. You know what I mean? I'm with the, yeah. with the older niggas. So. So how this shit been going for you, music wise? I see shit going. You dropping? Yeah. You getting the views. Man. Getting the streams. Yeah. I see shit going for you. Hey yo, I'm just. Like I said, I'm just blessed. I'm like, damn, like top of the top of this year, I lost my grandmother. You feel Rest me? in peace. Rest in peace. Uh January 4th. And I was like, damn, I know, you know, mm-hmm. I know 2023 ain't starting like this. Yeah, that's the top of the year. You feel what I'm saying? Hell yeah. yeah. I'm all I'm all 2022 joking and shit. Like, yeah, 2023. Top of the year. That shit was like boom. I'm like, bro, this I can't have a bad year. Like, damn, Facts. you feel me? Did that make you go harder? Like that that put that. Extra nah, I've been going hard my, this whole time. I don't know no other speed. You feel me? Feel but that. it's like everything up to God, though, bro. Like Facts. no matter what I do, I don't. I can't open the doors myself. I could get to every door and take every journey. You yeah. feel me? But it's like, nigga, I went to L.A. and I went to the Grammys. Um, Damn. But it's like you could go to L.A. and not know nobody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you ain't really plugged in. You just around the basic shit. Yeah. Facts. You feel what I'm Facts. saying? Or you could just go to L.A., bro, and just shit magically happen. You end up next to Lil Hell Wayne. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then you, you feel what I'm saying? It's all and about networking. You know what I mean? But it wasn't like me networking. I just was like popping up. It was Damn. just outside. Or it was just out there. Word. Yeah. Like, yo, they said, this party going on here. You know, I got a my man from a previous just business type shit out in L.A. He like, yo, this party jumping right here. Like, you go to the door, da 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 That shit will open for you. You feel me? Hell yeah. You go out just... I just went there like, yo, look, I'm a pressure, man. I'm here for such and such. Thing. I came there with a confidence, though. Like, I ain't yeah, going to that motherfucker. Like, I'm nervous. I'm like, man, I'm such and such. Like, what I'm talking about? I fuck that. They like, oh, you an artist. Like, go on the red carpet. I'm like, I was trying to sneak through the back door. <laughs> I literally got on the red carpet. Like, I ended up, I snuck right through the front door like I was Damn. an artist. They like, yo, such and such. I'm like, all right, get on the red carpet. They like, who that? A pressure, a pressure. They said the name down. They like, take a pick. They like who you? I'm like yo, them niggas right there. I grabbed the nigga that wasn't oh, even shit. with me up. <laughs> five of us, like them five, they all with me right there, man. Oh, Come on, shit. we ain't going through no extra shit. Yeah, one thing I will say from the first time I seen one of your freestyles, yo, you you wear your confidence, and a lot of niggas don't do that, or a lot of artists, period, don't do that. They could be the most confident people in the world, but then they get around some of them, some of them people, and they tense up, like they tighten yeah. up. I, you wear that shit no matter where you at, like. It don't matter who in this room. I'm, I'm, I'm me. Yeah, that, that shit reflecting in your music though. I can hear the confidence in your rap type shit. Like, you know, some people go to the studio. They need the engineer to make them sound like they confident. Yeah. But I can hear that you in the booth. Like, nigga, I'm a pressure, nigga. Nah, like, I for real. It, so. I stand on it. Fuck that shit. Where you know the name came from? Uh, pressure came from. I was in gang unit. Um, quick little story and shit. Uh-huh. It's like gladiator school. Like, if you ever could think about it, like, yeah. from, like. I'm talking like BC history time. Yeah. Where niggas is like combat all the time. Oh, I yeah. got you. That's how that shit was. And you feel me? We in jail. So uh, it was a little situation where niggas was tripping and they was supposed to pop on me. We was beef with another hood and shit. It was two of them. Got let out. I'm in MCU at the time. And um, they let this, the police be doing tricky shit. You yeah. feel me? So I'm arguing with the police. That nigga don't like me. So it's my room. It's my time to go to rec in a, yeah. in a room for an hour. He busts another nigga cell. Like when I was supposed to go back to my cell, yeah. he busts two cells down. Oh shit. Feel me? So niggas came and shit. We beef and ah, ah, but instead of them popping on me, yeah. I ended up grabbing the clippers, ripping one nigga. Oh, feel shit. me? 
And then boom, I hit him and shit. His shit was leaking. He just got out the fight. So Dang. it ended up just be me and another nigga. And yeah. Like getting the fade. I ended up beating them niggas up though. Like the homie Blackface was like, oh, you applying pressure out here. That's just that. <laughs> Fuck P. Rue. We're going to call you pressure like that. You feel sure. what I'm saying? And then that's how that shit came about. That's fire. That's fire. So what out of everything you've done in your career, like you said, you went to the Grammys. I mean, you dropped tapes, you did freestyles, you did shows. What would be the moment? I know you're a confident dude, but what would be the moment where you really like sat down and looked in the mirror at yourself and was like, yeah, I'm fucking him. Like I'm in this situation, I'm him. When the whole, when I got the whole crowd, yeah. everybody singing my shit. Yeah, that's a moment right there. That's like, that's, yeah, for me, that's yeah. it. There ain't nothing else. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. When I got the whole crowd rocking my shit and everybody singing that shit and they feel it the way I felt about it, yeah. then I know I'm in there. Like, yeah. Because then it's like, nigga, they hear me. You feel nah, what I'm hell saying? Oh, yeah. Hell like, yeah. As an what, artist. What's the biggest What's the biggest uh, crowd you performed at? Or like, what's one of the most memorable shows you did so far? King Slizzy 2. Nah, like nah, the show. Nah, nah, King Slizzy. Fuck King. King Slizzy 2 coming. Like, that show ain't get here yet. Yeah. But King Slizzy, part one. Where now, like we at like venue ding type bats. shit. Where yeah, I've been renting dingbats for a minute and shit. Like, um, not on no other shit. I am. I'm like one of the first. Not on no Soldier Boy shit. Yeah. But like my fuck, I'm one of the first <laughs> niggas. That, I'm the first independent artist to yeah. rent dingbats, my nigga. That's that tough. I know. We're gonna clap that shit up. Because I can tell shit. you who was there before. It was Coyle Ray was the first one that I seen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Smack it down. Feel yeah. me. Then two two G's came, but when his management was putting it in already, yeah. I already was on that already shit. Doing it, feel me? Oh, then I the, seen what, other niggas. That's the um, that's the spot shit. in Clifton. Yeah, okay, you feel okay, okay, okay. So you about. can fact check that. We did that shit before COVID. Word. But I end up um, I caught my case twenty twenty. So I came home after the violation, and I dropped King Slizzy part one and shit. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, you know, I gotta do a concert. But all the guys showed up, like all my brothers showed up, my young, and it's like the young crowd give you that energy, you yeah. feel me? So they was rapping back. <laughs> that shit was a movie for me. But I mean, I don't know. It's something about the like. I like being around the young niggas, like, because I'm tough. like I'm older, but I be like hyperactive. I ain't no yeah. old sit around nigga. Them niggas be getting me gassed up. <laughs> That's fire. The older crowd, they gonna be too cool. They gonna be there rapping a little bit. The yeah, young facts. Niggas gonna be turned up. So. Wailing. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I yeah. like I like doing a concert with them. It came that yeah. King Slizzy shit. Yeah, we had that shit shaking. I had strippers coming up there twerking all kind of shit. Fire. So we gonna bring it to Patterson. Mm. And we had how many how many people we have from Patterson up here? Like one, 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 right? The, the the other one uh, couldn't make it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanna know like how was it for you growing up in Patterson type shit? Like, give us a day in the life of Patterson from your eyes. What time period are we talking about? When I was a kid or I'm an adult? Kid. All right, so as a kid, like, wait, like, what kind of kid? Like, kid, kid, or teenager? Yeah, like, you, you just, you just growing up. You know what I mean? You growing you know, up. I give me a time, cause Patterson to change depending on what, like, what Word. age you is. Right. Yeah. So we're going. So, so yeah. this we how we're going to do. We're going to bring it back to like <laughs> from from when you were a kid and how that changed you when you became a teenager. Yeah. To an adult. Yeah. All right, so it's like, as a little kid. I was everywhere in Patterson. You feel me? Yeah. It, was, it was always fun. Like, it's, it's fun. Hell you go yeah. down the hill, it was fun. You with your cousins, you know what I mean? Y'all play ball, easy style, fourth, anywhere in the Patterson. Okay. Yeah. But then as you get older, you come to a teenager, mm-hmm. then it's like, what block you from? You feel me? Yeah. You can't really be caught certain place because now niggas really fighting. Yeah. It ain't like it's cool. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then as I got a little older, I, you know, I could fight. So niggas started jumping me. So then guns got involved. So then it got real danger. Yeah. Feel me? And then now, when I come through Patterson now, like as a pressure, I just get love though from the city. That's what's up, bro. You know what I mean? So it'd be, it be different time periods. Like it just, right so now did, I pull up. It just be. They getting the love. Like, did you look at it like, like when you got love from somebody you know ain't fuck with you before you was a pressure? Do you mm. look at that shit like, goofy ass nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I don't. I don't. No bullshit, right? Because I know, I know in my heart, I feel like. I, and this how I feel, you know? Yeah. I feel like that shit be fake anyway. Nah, yeah. facts. Like, so, uh, yeah. so to me, it don't even be like, oh, he fucking with me, goofy nigga. <laughs> it, it be like, I be looking at niggas like, you ain't getting close to me, motherfucker. Nah, nigga. facts. Word up. Word up. Nigga can't even get a handshake. Nah, word up. I get, I, just 
Oh my nigga. I even shake. Yeah, cool, cool. I ain't doing all that though. Yeah, that's what's nigga be acting weird as hell. You know, man. niggas in envy. I take that shit like love too. You feel me? Yeah, where? Sometimes them niggas just hate to love you. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Or they love hell to hate yeah. you. I, I take that hundred percent. So, I mean, so I don't be getting the fuck. So what put you? What put you in the um? You said music was like your your sport. Yeah. So who was the influence that made you like? I'm gonna try this rapping shit. That shit was like a multiple of people. It wasn't brother, no one person. My brother, nah, it wasn't one person. I respect that. Right. It was like my older brother, which like that's like my father figure. You feel what I'm saying? He was always rap, rap. So right. all I did was listen to rap. But then my actual father used to try to be a rapper, like slick Rick ass nigga. You feel mm. me? So he, right. so he, he taught me like how to, you know what I mean? Rap. Yeah. Like I used to play with him and shit. But the, what made me want to be a rapper was like my older brother, and then. The kids around me. Like, okay. That's how I mean. And then like on um, bigger scale, Bow Wow was Bow Clap it up for Bow Weezy, man. Niggas right, man. Bad, <laughs> Clap it up for Bow Weezy, man. Niggas bad ain't gonna wow was, my son shad bro, like that. Bow Wow was that nigga when you was little. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, not, I, be, I tell this nigga that all the time. <laughs> Bow Wow was that nigga, like me growing up, all the girls had Bow Wow on this poster, you feel what I'm shit like that. I was younger than him. So, yeah, but you, he he was the influence though. You yeah, see a nigga you know on one of six and park, you like, damn, I gotta get up there. Facts. Shit like that. My nigga was looking at that shit like, man, Bow I got all the bitches, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. Word it up, uh, word it up. My nigga That's what you do it for when you're young. Yeah, when, when you're you young. young. Yeah, you're you young. You're young niggas, you only for the, doing for, you know what I mean? Nah, that's, that's facts. Shit. That's facts. That's that's a big facts with that shit. So, how often you in the studio? <laughs> Right now, to drop two projects like that, like yeah, I ain't boom. been in the studio in a little minute right now though. You right. know what I mean, you still writing though, or you yeah, still? Yeah, of course. Yeah, right. I still write. I do that shit just for therapy. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean, but when I'm locked in, I'm locked in. It ain't no facts. I'm in it every day, all day, till I get. You know what I mean? Whatever I got, get out and shit. So I know you said um, rapping is like a sport for you. What's your favorite sport? <laughs> I don't know. I play ball and I box. All right, who your favorite ball player? That's hard, bro. Chris Paul, Iverson. Oh, you're a point guard. You like point guard, shooting guard type shit. Yeah. Or so do you? Be, you feel like in the sport that you win, you feel like you feel any comparison from them, like Iverson? Like you, I feel like yeah, Iverson yeah, yeah, yeah. and shit. I feel yeah. like Iverson when he went to the finals. Yeah. I, I feel like that. Like you compare me like AI. You feel what I'm saying? I definitely be. I'm from the south side of Patterson, so it's like you got hella rappers all through the city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's oh, like yeah. any city, but it's like for me, for me, like I got to hold this shit up for my side of town. You feel me? Respect that, cause oh, yeah. <clears throat> you know niggas that get overlooked, niggas that get played, niggas won't even count for real. Yeah, word. Niggas real won't shit. count. You feel me? So, and then on my side of town, because I'm from the south side of town, like you got up the hill, you got down the hill. Those are the major parts of town. You yeah, know what I'm saying. We'd be considered like one of the outskirt skirt parts of town. You feel mm-hmm. me? We all from Patterson, but it's like you ain't from these two major yeah. compact hoods. You feel me? Shit, yeah. your town show us the the second most support out of New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Patterson oh, yeah. artists, whoever they always hit us up. Like yo, we can come on there. We can. I'll be like yo, when we get a date, I got you. But the crazy shit is, I predicted that your city would be on this podcast more than any other city. I told my man, so I was like yo. We was interviewing a lot of Jersey City niggas, and I was like, yo, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go see what Patterson got to offer. Yeah. And he was like, what? I said, I'm dead ass. I said, yo, the North niggas, the, the, the niggas don't want to fuck with it, they ain't got to fuck with it. I reached out to one Patterson nigga, and all y'all niggas just, and I was like, and I predict, I told him, I said, yo, I'm going to go holler at Patterson. Then yeah. when I'm done hollering at Patterson, I'm going to go somewhere else. My city ain't going to come up here. <clears throat> Another city going to come up here. Nah, it's all facts. about New Jersey. It's all about the state. Hell yeah. yeah. So I do really, truly appreciate you coming up here, and, and I'm truly a fan, because I was telling him about your music before we even got a date. Yeah, nah, I he was, was telling me before he even reached out type shit, and he was telling me, I'm like, because we had, uh, you know, pressure pre- online. we had pressure online up here, and that's what I thought he was talking about, talking about pressure? He like, nah, A pressure. He sent me a shit, I'm like, oh, I see why you like, bro, bro, got like, some shit. It's a, to me, it's a breath of fresh air, because what well, we got mad drill and all that, it's a breath of fresh air to his people. Like, we now have a sound, that Jersey drill crap. But to hear <laughs> you come in, be from the state, and not be on it, mm. it's refreshing. Like, right. doing a song or two is fine. But it's like, 
sooner or later, y'all got to come with your own identity. Yeah. Yeah, hell and yeah. You, when I first heard the freestyle, you was outside, you had to, what beat you was on? Was it one mic? I know you had to change. You was wild and you had the tank top on and shit. I seen that. I seen that. I forgot the tank. I'm like, man, and Nas my favorite rap. It was the one, man. You mic? Yeah, Nas my favorite rap. I'm like, this nigga tan and shit. Look at shit that go on. Yeah. So cool so I'm long. like, yo, this nigga wild. I'm like, I'm, I'm reach out to the nigga. And when I when I posted you on the story, that's my way of reaching out. If yeah. a nigga don't respond, I'd be like, all right, I'm just gonna move past that. But when yeah. you responded, I'm like, fuck it, I'm axle. Yeah. I treat that <laughs> shit like a, it's a job for me. I mean, Instagram. I Hell came, yeah. I came home out of prison. I had did uh, eight and a half years, right? So I come home. I ain't, bitch, I ain't even have MySpace. When I was on the street as Damn. a kid, I ain't even have MySpace. Like certain teens was doing it, but yeah. they was in school and shit. Word. I wasn't going to school, so I wasn't really part of that communication. Yeah, I was part of that part of that era type saying? shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, trapping. I had a page and shit, but I post like two pictures and never got oh, on yeah. that shit again type shit. Word. So I come home, everybody like, no, Instagram. How was that transition, bro? Because we, I know we never get to ask people like that that like did wild time. Like that's a yeah. long ass time, my nigga. You was out of society for a minute. I know in the inside y'all get certain things and shit, but how was it to transition to go into a whole like internet basically? It, yeah, that shit that should hinder you. Like right now, I'm still computer illiterate. You feel Word. me? I still be learning. Like I know how to operate a phone real well because you know what I mean. You always yeah. with it, but as far as like. Being on the keyboard is like too much. Like, nah, I real shit. Type, you don't need no keyboard. It. I mean, you don't need no computer no more unless you like do certain shit. But yeah. a phone, period, would just get you. Gone. It get you the basis, yeah. yeah. But it it's, it's for me like when you got to do business, facts, facts, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Then you got to get on front computer. Of a computer, yeah. Word. But nah, yeah. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. Life just completely. It's like they pose you in life. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You go. You got to realize. I'm, I go from being outside to immediately incarcerated, never mm-hmm. coming home. It gets to the point when, like, the county is the county. Yeah. Right? You're going to still see people in and out the county, yeah, jays facts. and shit. So it's going to keep yeah. you connected to what's going facts. on. But when you go, you get on that bus, you get on that Bluebird, mm-hmm. and you go to prison, yeah. now you're away from I'm talking about, nigga, you might not hear a car drive Damn. for two, three years. You feel me? Shit. Unless the only thing you're hearing is the little buggies when they come through once in a while, mm-hmm. like for ODR and shit. Damn. You feel me? So you might not... You got to realize, not even being around traffic for so long, yeah. you being traffic panicking. Like, Damn. I mean, you ain't used to cars coming past. You ain't nah, used facts. to certain shit. And they pause you. I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up because you've been through some shit, clearly. Yeah. You just said you done been through the prison. So what, could you, what advice could you give to some young niggas that's out here and thinking that's the way to go? Like, that's the, like, you know, like, give them some advice, like, you know, on that situation or how they should move about certain things. Because, you know, you can't stop. Yeah. You can't stop that street shit. It's it's a revolving cycle. Yeah. But for somebody that been through it, what advice could you give somebody that might be going through what you're going through or might, you know, end up doing that eight and a half? Um, well, like I said, I look at certain shit different. So mm-hmm. my point of view is mine. You yeah, me? facts. I'm going to tell you why, what I'm going to say, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, just know what the fuck you're getting into. Where That's it. I'm not going to tell you not to do so. I can't tell a nigga facts. how to eat. Because if I can't give you another way to eat, exactly. then I can't be like, don't, you know what I mean? You Word. ain't going to see your family starve. Like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't be knowing what people think when niggas trapping, like, we got 50 other options. You feel what I'm saying, nigga? Yeah, I got to feed yeah, people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. they say the stove hot. You feel me? But I might be willing to burn my palm yeah, if I'm going to yeah, feed my if family. I'm feed my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, Respect. That's it. So um, I can't tell niggas what not to do. Just understand this. When you sign up for the shit, this shit will come with it. It come with long nights. Jail, j- prison for me was like, it was hard based on the shit that was going on on the street. You yeah. feel me? Like physically and shit like that, I wasn't pressed in jail. My nigga, Word. I used to get the TV, anything I want in jail. I was him. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I walk in the building, they like, yo, pressure in the building. Word. Niggas, I was just popping niggas ass all through GU. I got rank out here. Word. Can't that shit wasn't, but my mother dying on the street, killing me. Yeah, she got word. cancer and I can't even be there. You feel me? Word. And then she ended up homeless, Damn. and it was like fucked up because we was homeless when I was a kid. Yeah, you feel me? I'm the one that took care of my mother. Okay, okay. Yeah. I got us the apartment back, got her on her feet for me trapping. So to see her die that way in yeah. jail was like breaking me. Yeah. You feel me? Of like, course. Because then it's like, look at you, got yourself out the way. Yeah, you know what yeah I mean? man. For some dumb shit. Like, you know what I mean, so and that's another thing I could tell niggas like. Uh, if you're gonna get money, the street, cool. But all the extra, like everything, gunplay, shoot, my nigga, you go away for a long time. Right. And if you want this to get money and you got people to take care of, you gotta realize that some of these niggas just ain't worth it. I ain't saying 
you can't have a pool. I ain't saying you can't kill a nigga. Because some niggas just got to get killed depending on what the fuck they did. Like, if you rape one of my family members or do some crazy shit, cool. But if you bump into my car, yeah. like, nigga, we could get busy if you feel that type of way. Word. Everything ain't a gun issue. I could fight. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, me, myself, as a young nigga, I got, like, influenced by the wrong niggas. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? And then I start, you know, I'm already, I got the heart already to hop out of the car and punch you in the face. Yeah. So you give me a gun, it ain't like, oh, I, it's just like more power. You feel but, what I'm saying? Because y'all used to jump me if I hop out and beat him up. Yeah. It's five of y'all. You know what I mean? Now y'all ain't going. Now it's like, try that shit, I'm going to light you up. You but, feel what I'm saying? But I still a fight him though. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when I came home, you know, music influence and now drugs and shit like that, this shit. Niggas so scared. The internet got niggas so scared to be like interactive yeah. with people in real mm-hmm. life. That shit make you desensitize. You feel what I'm saying? Or so. I appreciate you giving that advice on this platform, bro. Cause you know we got we have all type of people come up here, and some people don't have a story like yours. Yeah. So I appreciate you, like <clears throat> at least cause I don't. We don't know who watched this shit. Yeah. We don't know who the, who your advice can help. But I definitely appreciate you. That we appreciate you for giving that advice oh, type for shit. Real, man. I appreciate y'all. That shit real. Me a voice. Yo, the fact I seen the interview that you did, but you kind of said it here, but not the way you said it there. Yo, for you to sit down that long and let niggas who never had anything pause their career yeah. is a fucking amazing. Word. And you don't understand, like, your drive to do something positive, because yeah. music is positive. Yeah. Uh, See, yeah. no matter what you're talking about, it's still it's positive. It's still positive, yeah. Your drive to do that. And you gave niggas an eight and a half year head start. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, and and I admire that because you got motherfuckers, nothing is holding them back. But somehow they being held back. Where? Yeah. You walked out the gate and was like, man, fuck it, I'm about to run it up. And looking at a nigga, when you was locked up, like, I heard this nigga was rocking out here. And you locked that. Like, that shit over, bro. That's my go now. Yeah. Facts. The motherfucker that you lapping should be inspired by you. Even though I know motherfuckers is haters and they ain't going to say it. Yeah. Nah, that's straight inspiration. Nah, facts. Because real shit, if niggas could get their flowers to wallow, I can get my flowers. I can give you your flowers. That's some real, real shit. shit. Like, 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 that's some real, like, <clears throat> I knew you did time and shit. I ain't know it was that long. Yeah, yeah. where he definitely told me you did time, but you just said eight and a half. That, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. I, <laughs> was, shit. I did eight and a half, went back for a year violation, came home. Went back when I told you I just got out six yeah. months for a violation. It was all for the same charges, the Nera Act, eighty five percent. But then they give you five years parole the afterwards. Problem. You feel me? It's like double jeopardy, but you know, it's, a, it's fucked up. It's a federal law. Uh, yeah, I ain't the violating for not violating, just fucking doing music. But yeah, man, we. We 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 gonna get past that for real. Nah, we got it's bigger, though. it's bigger and better just, things out here for eight pressure. I was just bragging because nah, you said facts. eight and a half. It's yeah. really like if I lap niggas, I really did. Ten. Yeah, hell yeah. Yo, nah, I really we did, did ten on you, nah, man. But it's still like, 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 yeah, girl, think about it. <laughs> I really it. did ten on you. Like baby. you look at it like this, nigga rapping. I'm, I'm gonna use a nigga from Patterson, just a random nigga from Patterson. Nigga rapping, like ten years straight. Facts. Ain't shit moving for him. It's eight and a half up. Somebody tell him like, yeah, you know, ain't pressure coming home and shit. Nigga, all right, whatever. Nigga be home for like a year. You like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? You ain't as hungry as he is. He determined to make this shit work. Yeah. You doing it as a luxury. He doing that shit as a sport. Facts. That's Real the argument shit. when niggas talk. When niggas talk Kobe, Jordan, and Brian, and then niggas talk about Luke Rittenau and shit like that. It's like, yo. Yeah, my, my son Luke Rittenau was all right. He ain't do one that. of them three niggas, though. <laughs> nah, facts. Think about it. Niggas forget that a lot of niggas be trying to play Jordan. My nigga left. Yeah. It was like, yo, y'all can have basketball. Came back and lapped niggas that didn't retire. Facts. Like, niggas won they chips, and that nigga was like, they, even, even if you want to use your man's brown, I know you love brown. Y'all he, gonna get into this right now with me in the middle? Nah, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying, no, Bron, another example. Yo, he 20 years in. Nah, I ain't even debating on Bron today. The average nigga in his 20th season can't do what the fuck he doing. Nah, and they facts. primes, yo. Nah, facts. Nah, so facts. you was catching niggas... Why niggas thought they was doing something like, yeah, yeah, we got it. Fuck it. Hey, pressure. You did that yeah. shit. Yeah, you did that shit without being active. Yeah, you should have seen And music changed. When I came. Eight and a half. Facts. Was a different sound. Facts. That's a whole different sound, yeah. 
When you I came home, to niggas was shit. bougie as hell. You hear me? Yo, WAP just made it. Fetty. Ev- yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody next up. Yeah. That's how niggas be coming. I'm nigga, what? I know such and such. I'm such and such, such. And I'm just like, damn, y'all wanna get in the studio? I'm trying to work. Like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Niggas wasn't even trying to fade. I'm like, I right, bet, you feel me? You got it, bro. Because I ain't not, yeah, like, outside of music and artistry is like, like, the person you is. You yeah, hell yeah. I know who I am. I know who I am to, you know, my family and I know who I am to my hood. You Fact. feel me? So it's like, I right, bet. I ain't, I don't, I don't know no other rappers to pull me up on the elevator. Yeah. And I knew that. Like, nigga, I just did eight and a half. I don't yeah. know nobody. I don't know nobody. This bitch. You feel it's me? good that you came to that realization quick. Yeah, I, I was never a nigga anyway for somebody to like look for a handout. I always got my shit the hard way. You Word. feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I always got my shit from me literally getting out there and doing the shit. Nobody took me off the street. Nobody bought me sneakers. Nobody did none of that. I always worked and got my own shit. Like, I've been working since I was nine years old. I was bagging groceries at fucking Bravo supermarket. Like, we was fucking. Damn, up, Bravo's man. was a minute ago. Yeah. Damn, shit. Me? So, damn. So, I was always like that. Yo, so with all that. That that didn't come. So how was you able to to build the team around you you could trust? Being, I mean, you know, doing the eight and a half, coming home, understanding that yo, know, y'all niggas don't owe me nothing. I'm just trying to work. How was you able to build niggas? Like, how did you look at people to be like, all right, you could join the team? Hey, no, right, so knowing that survivor mentality. You, you got you be asking a complex ass question. I can't <laughs> answer in one. Sentence. I gotta like break yeah, it down to you. You like, can do right, that though. All right, I'm just saying, yeah, I, I, like, I, like, I like correctly putting shit in perspective for people yeah. so you can see my, Where, my point I of view. You. So I just did eight and a half, right? Yeah. <clears throat> now, all I know is my hood. Yeah. I'm from Jackson Street. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm a young nigga. I, before I, I'm this, I'm a young wow nigga that put on. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It got to the point where nigga, I'm like seven shootings in and I'm outside, young as hell. Niggas are scared mm. to be around me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I got half the city talking about they gonna kill me. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm beefing. You feel what I'm saying? I go to jail, but I know I'm repping my hood though. Mm-hmm. I go to jail, I, I come home, niggas is rapping. Okay. Wap made it, the whole city on fire. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't know who the fuck I'm beefing with. I don't know who, who niggas yeah. is. It's just a bunch of, you know what I mean? Everybody Hollywood. Okay. Damn. So I'm like, all right. It's a bunch of young niggas from my hood that's rapping. Uh-huh. Right? Now I'm like, I could do two things. I could come home and be one of them old niggas. Like, it's my shit. I want the block back. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> or, you feel me? Or I could come home, you know what I mean? And embrace. And embrace my young niggas. So that's what I did. I came home. I got video. I used to play the background and nigga shit. Mm. I was a rapper. Yeah. I'm in the studio, but if Rico got a show or Hunger got a show or yeah. whatever, nigga, I'm in the background. Just you feel me? I'm the hype man. Where that's two. That's two rappers from uh, Patterson as well. Nah, they from my hood. It's hella. Ra- yeah, they from Patterson. It's right, hella rappers from Patterson. Hey, you said, you said Rico and Hunger. Yeah, Rico, Hunger, Chapo. Um. That's hella niggas. I don't even know. Word. Nigga, well, y'all shout out to all South. y'all, man. Niggas, yeah, so. As you can see, we we treat our guests well. So if y'all need a spot to come through and talk y'all shit, come up to the I Don't Care nah, What You Think facts. podcast. So fucking, I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to rock with them. You feel what I'm saying? Word. You know, the whole time I'm in jail, I'm writing. I yeah. came home with like I was gonna 14, ask you that shit 15 too. notebooks, Word. notepads, piece of paper. Yeah, I just Damn. came home with hella shit. So, boom. All right, I'm fucking with them. But everybody... Got their own, you know, agenda. Yeah. Like niggas is even my niggas is Hollywood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. With me. I'm damn. like, damn, y'all wanna do a song? Niggas they act like they <laughs> wanna do a song with pressure. <laughs> but I came home, no, I ain't gonna lie, I had to find my flow in the studio. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So that I don't sense. blame niggas. Cause I listen to shit I said then, like, damn, I was type ass. You feel me? Like, <laughs> It'd be like bars that. wise, I was I was there, but like flow, flow. and style and shit. I'm like, man, I wasn't Cadence. even. Yeah, Delivery. you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel but you. I just did eight and a half. I so, came yeah. home country as hell. You heard? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. After that, you wearing all type country shit. I'm like, damn, niggas ain't. I'm looking back at pictures now. Like, the fuck was I wearing, God? Niggas I ain't been joking out my old. But niggas, yeah, but niggas to see your potential, though. Yeah, Trump, yeah, niggas, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. All right, look. I might come home, right? I'm country as hell. Yeah. But I came home in the summer. Okay. So I don't even got no shirt on anyway. I just came home. I might be country, but the bitches still fucking with me because without these clothes, these bitches see clothes and be like, oh, he fly. Yeah. But a bitch look past that, though. Nah, that's true. You ain't lying about that shit. Hell yeah. So it's like, come on, my nigga. I'm I'm still getting bitches. I'm country, but you know what I mean? 
So what you um you 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 writing still or like you writing on notepads or you you typing in your phone now? Nah, I still write on notepads and shit. Where uh you how you feel about that? You feel like that um like do that make you not think more, but do it make you a better artist rather than typing? I don't know. It's just what I'm accustomed to. Mm. Like I, you know what I mean? Writing on paper. Word. I don't know. I just feel it more. And that's, that shit, yeah, I do it go. faster. Give you more feeling type shit? Yeah, I do it faster too. Word. And texting. Texting be taking long for me sometimes. That's why I don't like texting. I text somebody like two, three messages back to back and I got to call you. <laughs> nah, I feel you. I ain't <laughs> mad at you. I feel I ain't you. Mad Especially if we about to have a conversation. Yeah. Like, bro, just pick the phone up, bro. I'm going to just call you. Get Mind that shit out of the way real fast. Nah, the shit that fucked me up is when they text you first. And you respond, and they hit you with the voice message. You be like, nigga, you could have just called from the right door. Up, my nigga, like, shit. you text me first. Like, I ain't like you text me like, yo, you busy. You text me like, hey, yo, right. what time? I'm like, yo, this time. And then you send a voice message. The fuck? So yeah. I know you said you uh, still writing on the notepad shit. So what's the day in, like, what's the day in the life for you in the studio? Like, how that shit go? When you know you're going to the studio, how that's going to go for you? He grab that big-ass notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Log that shit on his back, all 14 and no nah. motherfuckers. Nah. <laughs> You niggas got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting, you little bug dog. <laughs> I've been waiting. Because oh, y'all practice this, you little kid in the hey, camera. Hey, this nigga. Fuck y'all, we heard this nigga. Nigga, call this kid in the camera. Where the fuck are they? Nigga, what are you trying to kill? Kid in the camera is so, crazy. Yo, when I go to the studio, that shit just be whatever I go on. Like Grab Sometimes that. I might not even bring nothing. And I might not even write that shit. I might just put the beat on and just freestyle just go. that shit. You feel right. me? Like, I did that to a couple songs. I just be chilling. Sometimes the guys come, we smoke. I might go in there. Sometimes I'm in my bag where I don't want to talk to nobody. I just hit my I hit my man Mars and shit. You feel me? And I'm like, um, yo, I need to come in there and just vent. Like just me and bro. And we just lock in. That's fine. I don't even talk to him and shit. Damn. You feel me? I tell him what mood I'm in. He make the beat. I go in there. I tweak that shit as I'm going. Like, nah, speed it up a little bit. And I just get that shit off my chest. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that's shit fine. like that come out. I did you and I like that. Right. You know what I mean? That's fine. So what's your favorite shit from yourself? Your favorite your favorite song, tape? What's your favorite piece of music you made? Or what you going to the label with? Like, this is shit right here. I don't know. I don't know what to go to the label with. I never even thought about that shit. So what's, but, but, but what is it for you? Like, when, when you and that movie, you like, you, give me three. Depends what mood I'm in, you feel me? Yeah, like. Give us three, give us three for three so, moods. All right, no caller. No caller, like, like when, when anytime I feel like, like when I need to pick me up, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. man, I got this shit. You feel me? Like, right, right, right. Shit might not be going my way at the time, and I need that one inspirational song. It's like no caller. Like, man, mm. I know they want me gone. Like, man, I got this shit. Fuck you. That's that. You feel what I'm saying? Then right now, in too deep, cause it's like, like yeah, I'm like popping my shit. It's like I know I'm right at the door. Like right. I know right now. Like it's like I'm right here. Like I never felt. I never felt it in me until now. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's when mm -hmm. you know it. Like mm -hmm. right now, I'm like right at that. the door. Like watch this. I fuck with that. You feel what I'm saying? And like we that. not kicking the door and how they want it. It's like, nigga, this a home run. You can't deny a hit. Fuck you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, boom. And then I got a song called Remember Me. And I, be like, I close my eyes and still see my mama cry. My father wasn't there, so I ain't got a question why. Can't send her blood, still question how she died, trying to keep my head high, she be killing me inside. That shit just put me in like a whole, like when I'm when I'm in that zone right there. Yeah. And it's like, it's like not sad, but it's like like in my feelings. Like, I feel you. Know what I mean? I feel you. Like about my mother and shit. Cause I still mourn my mother. So it was like that song right there, do it for me. Before yeah. that song, it was Boys the Men. Um Mama. That's my shit. Yeah, that's Mama. my shit. That shit used to have, I, like, listening to that, I got that, I break down, you feel me? Yeah, that's I my even shit. proud of that shit, like, thinking about my earth, you know what I mean? Because that was, like, my best friend, like. I feel you, bro. I wasn't a nigga, like, me and my mom, I was a mama's boy, nigga. I used to sleep in the bed with my mother to, like, six. Nah, I, feel, to get I, me I feel out. you, bro. Trust me. I used to be mad if she get a boyfriend, like, this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I got to sleep. <laughs> hey, yeah. I got to sleep in my room. Hey, shit, up, fucking up my comfortableness yeah, and shit. Like, hey, up, I feel you. So I used to be, like, I was a mama's boy, you feel me? So that, right. I so feel like remember sure. me, remember me like the song, I, you feel me? I listen to and shit, like. And it, and it get me there, you know what I mean? But those three songs right there. That's fire. 
What's are you about to say something? I was about to ask. Um, I right, so you know how Jay Z got different like type of shit. Like you got slick talk hole, you got yeah. business hole, yeah. you got just rapping hole. Yeah. What's your favorite eight pressure? I'm saying like the same way you just said that. It's like it's just how I break my shit down. I don't know. I like talking slick. Because yeah. I feel like niggas don't really talk like me. Like niggas try that. to talk like me. I feel that. Or niggas try to talk this shit. But like, yeah. like, like I feel like nigga, you rap niggas. All right, look. Everybody from the hood. All right. That's it. We from Jersey. Right. Ain't really no Beverly Hills out this motherfucker. You got nah, a couple yeah, white sections. Nah, nah. Yeah, but all the Beverly black Hill. people in, you know what I mean? Facts. Everybody from the hood. Oh, yeah. But within the hood, you got levels. Yeah. Hell you dig yeah. me, my nigga? You Some got... niggas will never run the block. Nah. Yeah. Some niggas will never be that nigga that yeah. run the hood. Nah, yeah. You dig me? And, you got some, and they want to. Yeah, you got some niggas that are like like shoe, act tough, mm -hmm. play that role. You got some, but some niggas will never get that respect of he they just cousin. pulled up. Look, he just pulled up in the hood, and it's not like it's everybody. Like, the Jays love him, the mm -hmm. kids love him, the young niggas fuck with him, the old yeah. niggas babe mothers want fuck with him, yeah. the niggas that's my age envy. You feel what I'm saying? Like as they should. That's a lot a of fact. niggas will never get that level. Now you talking that True. shit. You, you talking me? that shit. Hell yeah. And if you ask about me, that's where I'm at in life. The young niggas love me. The kids love me. The Jays love me. I could leave my hook. Like, nigga, I've never been signed. I give my niggas motivation. I done pulled up quarter million dollar cars and Damn. let my young niggas drive it. Park mm. the shit in the hood. This shit means something. You feel yeah, me? Hell yeah. So it's like hell I'm giving yeah. hope to that. That's where I'm at in the hood. So when I talk this rap shit, I yeah. talk slicker than niggas. Like, niggas be like, yo, the coke fucked up. But they ain't never really played with that Yola like that. So I give a different type detail, nigga. You Damn. heard like how you want it. You want it Damn. in the pot. You want it out the microwave. I'm you ready. want me to cook I'm it with the hanger. In, you want I'm ready to throw an instrimental on this motherfucker. This shit go crazy. Nah, I'm saying. This, this, I, get shit. Real shit. I get into the details. I get into the details. You feel me? Nah, niggas feel talk you, about they making moves. I'm like, nigga, I'm taking trips. You dig me? Real shit. I said, I said in one of my songs, I'm like, um... I said, I said, I'm from a small town, but I'm locking y'all mall down. Mm -hmm. I need these and these, those and those, them and that. I mm. came with a carry-on. How I'm going to bring this back? And this me on the road really doing this. Like, Damn. I'm really going to other niggas' cities and fucking they mall up. And I'm putting it on the gram. So when I wear this designer, you, you know I bought it. This ain't from <laughs> what's the name yeah. and them out the back of the trunk. Like, you seeing me, nah. I'm, and I'm giving hope to my niggas. You feel me? That's like, what's up. So that's what it's about for you, for real, for real. Just... Giving that motivation, mm -hmm. like being that motor. Yo, if yeah. I if if I could do anything and leave a legacy, bro, it's to it's to steer niggas that was like me in the, in right, the right direction. direction. Damn, you feel nigga, me? I respect that yeah. shit. Yeah. Cause I right, feel like bro. I feel I like that. me going to jail as a young nigga, bro. I had potential as a young nigga. Where? I feel like in the right hands, I would have yeah. been been somewhere. You feel me? I can't call God story, but I'm yeah. just I just know looking at it like. I was a loyal young nigga. Right. I was a get money young nigga. Right. You feel me? And I was teachable. It wasn't yeah. like I wasn't coachable. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I got in the hands of niggas who was telling me to do shit that they won't do. Yeah. And then when I start doing it, I start scaring them. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? That's real shit. Like, nah, no, no bullshit. Real you shit. No you bullshit. Know? You know what you just described? You described a nigga Michael off the wire. <laughs> nah, Real I'm shit. saying this is what's going Real on. Shit. You feel me? I niggas feel you. is, yeah, we shoot, we don't play, we shoot, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So right. I'm like, word, now I start tearing niggas up. And now when and I now come they around, they look at me like, oh, nah. They used, to, they used to speak to me with a certain authority, yeah. like, yo, man, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But now they like, I'm like, man, shut up, man. They're like, man, <laughs> all right, man, stop playing. Like, you feel stop me? Stop playing. And I'm and starting to realize, know it's like, like, you know, I'm a young shark in the water, so yeah. I start smelling blood, like, you niggas pussy too, like. You feel me? And then I just was wild. Was you couldn't tell me nothing after that. Nobody wow. couldn't tell me shit. I'm shooting whoever I want. I'm punching out whoever I want. <laughs> I start I kicking in shit. niggas' doors. You feel me? I start wilding. I was just taking shit. I was doing whatever I wanted, man. You know what I mean? There's a lot of niggas in the South that I got history with that I don't, I'm not the type of nigga to bring up. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. But a lot of niggas don't like me because I really done took something from them as a young mm. nigga. You know what I mean? Or from they mans. Right. You know what I mean? So it'd be like, I get it. I get why, you know, fully I might not be accepted. Because I yeah. was the bad guy at one point. You know what I mean? But to my but, defense, you niggas wasn't trying to put me on anyway. Because I had to get my shit from somewhere else. Nigga, I never got my shit from the hood. I used to get work from across town. You feel what I'm saying? I used to have to go yeah. to the fourth and shit Dang. like that to get to get money. Niggas wasn't trying to fuck with me. Dang. Niggas was, you know what I mean? So. Yo, and through all that shit you've been through. You kept your sanity, man. 
Word. And that's yeah. that, that that's that's Word. that's the biggest blessing that could come from all that. Shit, you been through another motherfucker go crazy. Mm-hmm. Like Snapped like the already. buffs would have been would have been already. blocked the fuck out. You kept Real that shit. shit right here and you understood like the emotions. Comments. But emotions yeah. must be handled. Yeah. You feel me? And I respect that, man. Like, like, like Shit, you said some motivational shit, man. I ain't even going to like... Happening. Fuck that. That nigga so, called us Keenan and Kel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. We ain't getting past that shit. <laughs> that nigga called us yeah, Keenan and Kel, man. Yeah, man. Fuck out of here. Oh, up. shit. Hey, yo. Ray Spitter got a game he plays called Cap of Fact. Uh, he going to explain it to you. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you five questions. Um, and it's Kappa Facts. Uh, take your pick. I mean, we could agree to disagree, but you okay. can let us know why you pick Kappa Facts. Okay. So uh, the first question is, um, Kappa Facts, you need a team to do whatever you're doing in life. Whether you're rapping, whatever, doing whatever you're doing. Yes. Where, I mean, that's self-explanatory. We don't have yeah. everybody up here say facts for that shit. So, yeah. I mean, but I'm just saying, look, all right, is, so you need a team, but you don't need people. Mm. My team is me and God. That's how I okay. rock. So that's my team. And a nigga can't tell me, well, you need actual people because God going to put niggas in position. Yeah. Sometimes niggas might change out. Like okay. my team that I'm with now wasn't yeah. the team I started with. Facts. Mm. My journey never stopped. And mm. I always had a team around me. Damn. But it'd just be players, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Switching yeah. out. Like he Hell might be yeah. here for this. He might be here for this. Da, 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 da. The old team, it ain't like I, I, I stopped fucking with them in Law's Love. It's yeah. like, you know, everybody ain't meant to walk your journey. Facts. So I fuck with that. Yes, you need a team. You um. might, the players might change. Cap of facts. Uh, stability is a must. For what? Like, what are we talking about? Anything. Just in general? Life. Yeah, in general. Yes, that's the facts. Or you need stability. Oh, you feel like that? I'm saying you're going to have to operate in chaos if you don't have stability. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And, you know, you know some great shit could come from operating in chaos. Mm. But for peace and tranquility, you're going to need stability. Otherwise, you're going to be forever trying to figure this out and... You ain't gonna be able to, you know, to just focus on one thing. Facts. You know I, I fuck with that. Um, <clears throat> cap effects. Overreacting has its consequences. Facts. Uh, fuck with that. He ain't oh. even gotta explain that. <laughs> we <Word. I> already <laughs> know. <laughs> we already been down a rabbit hole with that <laughs> shit. Um, cap effects. Uh, if you don't love doing it for free, like if you don't love what you're doing for free, then you shouldn't be doing it at all. That's cap. Right. You the first person to say that. Yeah. Some shit you might not love doing, but you got to do it. You know, you shouldn't be doing it at all. Word. No, he the second person to say that. I second might, person? Might yeah. be hustling and shit like that. I don't want to do it, but I got to do it. Yeah, that's kind of that? what the dude said. Word. He said, like, we, we was in his studio, and he was like, yo, what I had to do to get this shit, like, working a regular job and saving my money, he said, I ain't enjoy doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah, he said, word, but now I got to be doing some shit I enjoy, so... Yeah. That's cat, because he's like, I ain't enjoying none of that shit. He said, but now I enjoy this shit. Real yeah. shit. So I respect that shit, man. Yeah. Um, and my last question, cap of facts. Hard work beat talent when talent don't work hard. Yeah. Yeah. Word. Wait, 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 wait. On a one-on-one or like in the grander scale? You. Yeah, you yeah. hard work. Yeah. You beat talent. Yeah. You talented. You beat other talented niggas because Cause they don't work, work as hard, hard as you. Yeah. Yeah, but then that's talented and hardworking against talented. Nah, but but you just saying hard work beat right. talent. If the I'm, talent I'm, I'm, not I'm, working I'm hard, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna give a better example. Both niggas talented. Yeah, and both niggas hard? can be talented. Just I'm the a, nigga that's working harder yeah. is out beating the, the talented. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna yeah, give a better true. example. That's what I get out of when because you compared yourself to AI. When AI and I went to that finals, they won that first game because AI beat them niggas. <laughs> he was working his ass <laughs> off. Working his ass off for that one win. Yeah. The only reason Shaq and them lost because they looked at them like, it's the Sixers. Yeah, we're not going to work hard. Yeah, we're not going to play them niggas for real. <laughs> yeah. So, he worked hard. He beat them niggas. So, yeah. that's cap, but that's facts. Nah, yeah, that's talent against talent. He worked hard, yeah. Word. I thought you were saying like a mediocre nigga beating a talented nigga in one-on-one because uh, he worked hard. Oh, no, 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 no. It's basically... 
It, well, it, it, it go that way it sometimes. It could go that way sometimes. You're a, box, do, you're a do, boxing nigga. You done seen do, the it nigga. It go that way sometimes when you sleep on a nigga. Yeah. yeah. Hell oh, yeah. When you sleep on a nigga. And it's or too when late. You, when yeah. you try to turn it on, it's too late. Yeah. You lost the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the fact. You lost the fight. You get the round eight. Definitely. You like, damn. You get the round eight. You lost the round eight. You turned up the round eight, nine, and ten. No damn, you lost the fight. It happened to Lennox Lewis. You see that shit. It happened to Lennox Lewis. Shit, the world was shocked when it happened to Mike Tyson. Where? When he fought Buster Douglas, niggas was like, who knocked this nigga? Where? Mm -hmm. Buster Douglas, nigga. Mm -hmm. I think Mike was tired that night, though. Mike just finished partying and wild and shit. Of course. So, so, you, so you, so you, you watch boxing? You Hell yeah. I'm <laughs> All right. into boxing. Deep. I bet. No, we got to get into that. So what? How you felt about that Tank and uh, Garcia fight? It was cool. Where? Yeah. It was cool. I don't look at... I don't, I don't feel like... Uh, Boxing is getting back to where it used to be, mm -hmm. which is great. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's a great influence. Yeah. But it ain't there yet. It's still early. You feel Word. what I'm saying? Like Word. Garcia, Garcia got uh, power, speed. You know the things that you need to be a good fighter. Yeah, even a great fighter. Facts. But for him to be on a big stage like that and not have like more technique. Yeah. You know what I mean? I back in the that. day, it was like big stages. Yeah. Them niggas had the technique Facts. out of this world. That shit was, was going. too great. Yeah. You know what I mean? People going at it, you know? You got but, Vander yeah. and, and Tyson. That's yeah. you feel me? Like, you know what I mean? You got two people showing great talent yeah. that you don't know who could win. Word. You feel me? So that type of shit. No, I, feel, I feel like boxing went in that direction because it was more about ain't nothing wrong with making the money, but it was like you talked about Holyfield, Mike Tyson. Them niggas didn't duck smoke. Now these niggas pick they fights so precise. Mm -hmm. They give you 30 fucking nobodies where they could just flash a nigga in every fight and then get to the end of their career at to a point and then they box a boxer and lose. When it was yeah. like back then, like niggas loved Tommy Hearns, Pernell Whitaker, all of them, but they was fighting fighters. Yeah. They, they'd fight the scrubs too. But in between every two scrubs, it was a killer. Yeah. I now mean, it's just 13 scrubs and then I get to the killer and get my ass whooped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it used to be, it used to be back then though, right? Because they used to do that shit back then too. No, nah, they didn't you know pick I mean? their fights. They used to do that shit back then too, cause uh, custom model we want Mike Tyson to fight Lennox Lewis early. You know what I mean? He said that Lennox Lewis was gonna be a problem, so they used to pick their fights like who, mm. who would fight who. You yeah. feel me? But back then it was a lot of fighters right. that niggas could actually fight. Like you gotta realize That's everybody right. was going to the Olympics. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. everybody had camps. Now it's just niggas just home training boxing on uh, Instagram. Facts, facts. 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 So it was like Big everybody facts. was actually fighters. So you know what I mean? who you? I. But top rank, say, top rank, yeah. they got they got a, a league called Top Rank. Oh, where? Yeah, so yeah. they got a league called Top Rank. And they got fighters. I'm talking about like when I watch them, yeah. it's like I'm watching real fighters. Where? You know I got to tap yeah. into that. Now, I was going to ask you, I ain't going to ask you the top five or nothing, but who you, who's some of your favorite boxers and who you watching right now? Because you said you went to boxing. Yeah. Um, all right, so obviously I said Mike Tyson a bunch of times. Yeah, I yeah. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I like I like Tyson for uh his aggression, you feel what I'm saying? And just like like his mind state. Like I'm not coming in here to just uh punch on you, right? It's like I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna right. break you as a person. You Facts. feel what I'm saying? And it ain't nothing personal, but you challenging me. Real shit. You feel what I'm saying? So I like that shit. Right? You heard what he said to bro in that like crowd. <laughs> you heard what he said. Yeah, he was a wild boy. But you know, back in the nigga, back in the day, look, right now the shit we be like, yo, touch such, such. Back in the day, them yeah, niggas was wild. Like that. Was wild. They was wild. They was wild like, that. like that. I told niggas, niggas up me? the pistol when I leave for running his mouth, yeah. son. The niggas was right. wild. Like niggas, that, that nigga Mitch Green ran down on uh damn Mike Tyson. Yeah, he ran down on Mike Tyson. Got his shit, got his shit beat all up. Yeah. So you feel me? Yeah, but that, I, outside of that, outside of that, right? Boom! I gotta say, um, I like Lennox Lewis. Me too. Like, me too. They, they, I like his style and just you feel me, like bro, really nice though. You know yeah. what I mean? He really sharp and shit. Um, then I gotta say. Damn, it's too many boxers, bro. Man, like, man. It's, yeah, it's too you many. I like Roy man. Jones. That's my man. Right? That's my that's my favorite boxer me? ever. Yeah, like I like, yeah, you got to. Yeah, you feel me? Even man. though he took that yeah. loss to Tarver, Facts. that Facts. shit was really a mental game and that shit yeah. like kind of just broke bro down. But he was already Jones was already yeah, he out already of his out there. He was, he was already a hit rapper, yeah. party and all Facts. that shit. He wasn't Roy Roy Jones, you feel Facts. me? But fucking um, yeah, he was different. 
But then you got niggas like that. I, uh, you got your Roy Jones different, but then you got niggas like, like Sugar Shane Mosley was like different to me. You feel what I'm saying? I fuck with Shane. Yeah. And I feel like Sugar Shane Mosley, I don't know, like it's a lot of boxes, bro. Right. Sugar Shane Mosley had it, like he was one of them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Stab when just aggression. Uh, Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, and Roy Jones. I'm right. taking them right there. That's tough. Shout out to all of them. Man, mm-hmm. shit. And then that wraps up Cap Effects because I never got to see that. But <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, yo? It's uh, uh it's twelve. All right, we ain't, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna keep you too much longer. We just mental beat with all this beef. We ain't gonna talk about it. Whatever it's action, we gonna meet. It ain't no walking around. It. The merry runners on my feet. This shit, I walk them down. With. I do a tantrum all in Nima's blue.